serve your purpose, I just ask that you don't do something that causes harm. To me, that's um, the most important thing is we learn to discern and figure out what our body needs and what it doesn't need. And it doesn't, it may not need everything I offer. So you get to decide how much or how little you want in your practice. So we're just gonna, if you want to have the chair in front of you, that's fine. I'm gonna step away from the chair for a second so you can see my full body. We're gonna start just standing. Look at your feet, look down, maybe lift and spread your toes. Wiggle them toes, wiggle your fingers. So just, you know, getting little neuroreceptors, kind of feeling that we have, you know, sensations in our feet and our hands. And then start to rock a little forward and a little back. And just feel the bottoms of your feet on the ground. Maybe feel the backs of your legs, your abdominal muscles as you lean forward. And then sway, kind of do a little sway, a little side to side, if you will. Let me let Maria in. Just going to do a little like hip sway. Bending a knee gently. And then just stand nice and tall. If it feels comfortable in your body, close your eyes. And again, just work on feeling balance so that you're not feeling like you're leaning forward or side to side or front or back, but just feeling right into how balance feels. Now we'll take your right hand, bring it behind your back. So you're going to place your hand on your back. And the opposite ear is going to go down. So you're going to stretch the. So if your right hand's back, you're going to take your left ear to your left shoulder. Again, you may need to adjust tucking the chin in or leaning the head back just a little bit. Don't lean it too far back, but just finding this the optimal stretch right here in the side of your neck. And then lift your head up, remove your right hand from behind you. Stand nice and tall again. And then we'll move and take your left hand, the back of your hands against your low back, relaxing your shoulder down, lift your head up and then take your right ear to your right shoulder. Good, now lift your head up, remove your left hand, stand back in Samasiti, which is just your balance pose, and we're gonna take six conscious breaths here. So feeling your breath all the way from your feet, feeling it come up, and then exhaling, feeling it kind of push down into your feet. So I'll count you out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Try to breathe in and out of your nose. Inhale, exhale. You can empty out through your mouth if that feels better. Inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale. And exhale, good. Shake off your legs. And now we're gonna um, hold on to the chair. This can also be, if you didn't wanna use a chair, you could also replace it with a wall. So if you had a wall here, you could put your hands on the wall. So just another option. If you had a wall nearby, didn't wanna use the chair. So we'll start with our feet 
back far enough that you can still put your hands on the chair. Relax your shoulders, keep your chin slightly tucked so it's not yanking the head back. Inhale your both arms up. Exhale the hands to the chair or the wall. Lean forward as you do that, push your hips forward, put your weight into your toes. Exhale, push back so now your hips come over your heels. You can keep your hands on the chair too if you like. And we'll do a couple of these. So you'll inhale with the back straight. Exhale, bringing the hips towards the chair, feel a little back bend and then push back. If you're feeling like this is too much here, the trick is to widen your feet out. So it creates a little bit more space. So if you're feeling really tight there, widen your step, 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 and then inhale. And exhale, push it forward, keep your chin tucked in and push it back. I'll now just kind of do a couple on your own, refining, feeling the muscles engaged or glutes engaged, stretching, ease into it, slower is better. Good. Do one more here. And then if your feet are apart, step them back together. Lower your hands by your side and just check back in. See how that felt? And then we'll inhale both arms up, stretch up as tall as you can be. And then exhale, bring the arms down. Hold on to the back of the chair and step back with your right foot. And we're gonna hold on, we've done these before. We're gonna start with the knee straight, the right knee, uh, left knee is straight. You're gonna bend into it. As you bend into it, take your arms off the chair if you can. And then exhale, hands back to the chair and straighten the knee. So it's an inhale, bend the knee, arms come up. You are going to do that back bend again. Exhale, straighten the knee, hands back to the chair. Inhale. Exhale, that was four. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Do four more on your own, making a total of 10. I know your knees may make some sound, so don't worry about it. They, they do that. This is my last one. And then this is the fun part. So feel that left foot engaged and then push back and step your feet together. And then now you're like, oh, I feel this way over here on the right leg. So you can feel the work that's happening. All right, now let's try the other side. Step your right foot forward. Start with the knee straight. And then inhale, you can bend into the knee. Exhale, hand to the back of the chair. Straighten your right knee. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, four, I'm gonna do five, do five more, take your time, get smoother, stronger, your breath with the movement.
nine. And this is my 10th one. And now push, bend your right knee, push back and step your feet back together. Take a rest. All right. From here, we're gonna inhale our arms up. Make sure you can still reach the chair. Inhale your arms up. Exhale your hands to the chair. Now we're gonna lean forward. So bring your elbows in towards your ribs. Make sure your chair's not gonna slide. And then push back like a push-up. Exhale, elbows in towards ribs. Straighten the arms, bend the elbows, little upper body strength. Chest comes down in between your arms. Elbows bend, chest comes forward. Do three more. Now you've had your push-ups for the day. <laughs> when you're finished, reach your arms back up and then lower your arms down by your side. Catch your breath, maybe feel some sensations or tingling this in your body. Now we're gonna do some cats and cows here. So we'll take our hands to the chair. I had to walk a little closer, I was too far back. So make sure you may have to just adjust your feet. That's too close. So drop your belly, push your tailbone back like we do for a down dog and lift up your head, so front of your throat opens. Now tuck your chin in and round your back. So you're making this arch shape upwards that Halloween like shape cat. And then bend your knees slightly, come back into cow. You'll feel it in the backs of your legs. Tuck your chin towards your chest, round for cat. Exhale into cow. Cat, cow. Do a couple on your own. If you're like, whoa, my legs are on fire. It's easier to do seated. So if you want to move to the chair, you can. But we're basically just moving your chest forward and pushing your spine back. After you've had enough of those and your legs feel like they're on fire, we'll stand up, reach the arms up, and lower the hands back down, check in. So now we're gonna move on to some side stretches. So stand towards one hip, doesn't matter which one, we'll just pick a hip. And we're gonna hold on to it with that hand, the hand that's closest to it. And we'll start by just stepping out the outer foot. You'll take your outer hand, palm facing forward, inhale. Reach up, exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Last one. And lower your arm down. Step your feet back together. 
Notice how the side of her body may be feel. Now we're gonna take the outer leg, step it behind your left. So you're gonna go like crisscross. Outer leg is gonna cross behind the front one. Find your balance again like this. And then on this side, we're gonna push the hip that way as we reach up the arms. So same stretch, just kind of goes a little deeper, more into the obliques on this one. So we'll inhale our arm up, maybe reach a little deeper, pushing your hip out, and then exhale, lower it down. Inhale. The arm can go up as high as it feels good. That's two. Three. Four. And five. And six. And lower it down. Step your feet back together. Relax. Just breathe. Staying on the same side, we're gonna cross the outer leg, crisscross it in front. Again, make sure you've got balance so that soles of your feet are on the ground. Maybe even bend your knees to kind of check that. And then we'll do six more arm raises. So inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, two more. One more. And lower your arms slowly. Step your feet up back side by side. Pause for just a moment. Breathe. And now we're gonna do the same sequence, but on the other side. So you can either move your chair or just turn around. You might not be facing the screen if you turn around though. <laughs> so this is now gonna be my inner thigh. Outer leg over here. And start just by holding on to the side of the chair. Step out, like just one little step. Doesn't have to go very far. Turn your palm forward. And then inhale, reach up. And exhale, bring it down. So you don't have to go over your head for this one. If you just wanna just kind of feel the stretch going upwards, but not over. Shoulder blades are getting a little bit of work out here. Breathe. Inhale. Two more. Last one. And step your feet back together. Now we'll take the outer leg, crisscross it behind you. Again, make sure your feet feel stable. You're not going to wobble over. And for that, like I really have to hug in my inner thighs. So take what you need here. And we're going to do the same thing, but kind of go more over the head this time. So your hip is gonna go outwards. Just take your time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale with a smile on your face. Do that big inhale, big smile. Exhale. Two more, inhale. 
feet. Exhale, one more. Lower your arm softly and uncross your legs. Stand back in neutral. Check everything out, make sure everything's still good. And then we'll cross the outer foot in front of the foot that's closest to the chair, hugging your knees together. Again, hips gonna go away from the chair here. Inhale to start and lift up and over. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take your time. Two more. One more. Softly lower your arm, uncross your feet, come back into standing in balance. Feel your feet, feel your hips, feel your sides of your body. And then close your eyes and take six conscious breaths here. So we're gonna just rest for six breaths. When you're finished breathing those slow, intentional breaths, we'll come back to doing a couple squats here. So again, working on strength in our legs, standing directly behind the chair this time. You'll inhale the arms up through the front. Exhale the hands to the chair. Bend your knees. Inhale, reach the arms up as you straighten your knees. If this hurts your knees, don't do it. Exhale, hands come down, knees come forward as you bend. Inhale. Now, if you're feeling it again in your low back, widen your stance so your feet can go a little bit further apart if you need it. If you're like, this is too easy, take your hands to your thighs. <laughs> it's not too easy. Woo, my knees feel this. Do one more here. I'm gonna lower your hands to the chair. And just come into a downward facing dog, anything that feels good to rest. So we'll rest after doing those strenuous pose. So if it feels better to stand up and just rest, you can do that. If it feels good to walk back and go into down dog, you can do that. And after your short rest, you can lift your head up and walk towards the chair. Then adjust your feet so they feel normal. So the toes, all 10 toes are facing the same direction. Now take your hands off the chair. We're gonna take our arms out to the side and up this time. So not from the front, but from the side. Touch your palms overhead if you can, and then exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, arms come up, gaze is forward. 
Exhale, lower your arms. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Last one, big stretch up, exhale, lower your arms softly down. Now we're gonna come back and have a seat. Make sure your feet touch the ground in your chair. I'm gonna use my little blocks on the floor so Legs are short. You can also use an ottoman or something that's lower to the ground if that feels better. But just as we were standing in balance, we're gonna sit in balance. So just try to find equanimity in your hips so you're not like putting weight on one side. Same thing for your feet, your feet are equal. Just check in for a second. Good. Now we're going to take our hands to the right knee, lift it up, bring it in towards your right shoulder, and then slowly draw it away. So we're just going to kind of lift. We've done these before. Panasana, knees to chest. You will feel this in your lower abdomen. Take your time. The inhale is when the knee goes out. The exhale is when the knee draws in, so it's compressing. It takes a little coordination to get that movement, so the exhale is when the knee comes in. Inhale is the knee goes out. You should feel this pretty much right away. These are pretty intense. Do as many as you like. And when you're done, just set the foot back down. Sit tall. And then we'll try the other side. Hold on to your left leg. Lift up the left foot, draw it in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So they say that the seated poses or the floor poses are harder than the standing poses. I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> when you're done with doing a couple of these. I have you lower your foot and sit back to the back of your chair so your back rests on the chair. Take your hands just below your navel. Close your eyes. As you inhale, fill the chest up with air. And as you exhale, feel a gentle contraction in your belly. So the belly draws in and up on the exhale. Inhale, it expands, the belly gets full. Exhale, draw the belly in, push air out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more round, inhale, and exhale. Release your hands to your legs or to the side. Maybe just bring them to the side. We're gonna straighten out both legs in front of you. So make sure you're sitting towards the back. And if your feet drag, well, you must have long legs, so that's okay. We're gonna inhale, straighten both knees, 
point your toes towards your shoulder. So you want your toes pointing, your feet flex. Exhale, lower the feet down so you'll bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Pause here. We're going to lift the right leg and the left arm this time. Inhale, right leg, left arm, reach up. Exhale, lower. Other side. Left leg, right arm. Stretch it out. Point your toes towards your left shoulder. And lower. Right leg, left arm. Look over your right shoulder if it feels good in your neck. This is like chewing bubble gum and walking. You're straightening. Left leg, right arm goes up. Look over your left shoulder. And just move through a couple of these. No need to rush it. <laughs> if I don't think about it, I do it wrong. <laughs> Mind and body connecting them. Oftentimes our body is one place and our mind is in a total different spot. One more to each side. Lower both feet and your hands, close your eyes, check back in. Deep breath in and out. And open your eyes. Scoot yourself middle of the chair to the edge. Widen out your feet so that your knees are wider than your hips. Is called Maha Mudra. We've done this before. You may recognize it. We'll take your right hand on the bottom. So your right hand is going to be on your right leg. Keep your spine straight and move your left hand over it to on top of your right. Lift your head up. Bring your shoulders down, but keep your back straight. And we'll take six breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Lift up yourself back to center. Bring your left hand to your left leg. And then it's gonna be a slight turn, shoulders to the left. And then take your right hand on top of your left hand, straight spine, lean your shoulders just a couple inches forward. Feel maybe a little opening here on the right side. And then we'll take six breaths here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Lift your shoulders back up to neutral. Take your right hand back to your right leg. Toe heel your feet back together. Keep your knees slightly apart. And we're just gonna do some side twists. You're just gonna move your knees, kind of windshield wipering. And just rocking the hips, the knees, side to side. And 
come back to center. It was just a reset here. And we're gonna come onto our forearms on our lap. So see if you can get this low. If you're not like sure about it, you can take a pillow or something and put it on there. And just bring your shoulders away from your ears and just lean forward. You can close your eyes. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes, reach your arms up, take a big stretch up, reaching the arms to the sky. Exhale into cactus arms, so drawing the elbows back, lift the head so the crown of the head goes up. Feel this little arch in your back. Maybe your shoulder blades are squeezing in towards one another. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, reach forward and then bring your arms back down to your lap. Take a breath here. Now we're gonna lift up, arms come up, straighten your spine. Exhale, bend the elbows, bring them back behind your ribs if you can, lift the crown of your head up. And then reach back up. Exhale, hands come back to, or arms come back to your lap. Flat back. We'll do one more round of this. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bend your elbows towards your ribs. Inhale, reach up. This time, fold over both legs. Maybe bring your hands to your shins. Option is to tuck your chin towards your chest. Feel a really big expansion between your shoulder blades that you're just stretching out the upper part of your back. Stay here for three breaths. And then when you're ready to come out of it, take your time bringing your shoulders back on top of your hips. Pause, readjust, make sure yourself is back into balance. Turn this down just a bit so you can see my foot. I'm gonna step on a yoga block, but you don't have to. Again, short legs. We're gonna lift your heel off of them off the ground and just twist it from side to side. So opening the knee and then closing it. So if you didn't have a yoga block, a book works really well. <laughs> There's a thick maybe dictionary or something. Kind of opening and closing it. Your hand is just merely guiding it. It is not forcing, it's not doing the work for your hip. It's just kind of taking it on the ride. Excellent. That feels pretty good on this side. So then we'll switch sides. Move to the other foot, lift your heel off the ground. You're engaging your calf muscle when you lift your heel. So just feel how that is, make sure it's all right. Other foot stays flat. And then you're just gonna windshield wiper it again. Slowly moving the hips. 
when you're moving your femur, your side to side. When you've had enough on this side, you think it's about equal to what we did on the other side. Just slow it down. And press both feet back into the ground, equal pressure in the soles of both feet. And just take a second, recalibrate. Now step your right foot out to the right side. We're gonna crisscross your right arm and hold onto your shoulders. Straighten your back. And then very gently, we're gonna bow down in between your knees. Press into your feet, lift up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, exhale, inhale to rise, exhale down, inhale come up and on this exhale we're going to lower the arm. So now we're just going to let them dangle, you want to shake out your wrist or wiggle your fingers. If this hurts your low back, bring your hands to your knees. So we don't have to touch the floor. We're just reaching in that direction. Now for everyone, when we come out, you are gonna take your hands to your knees to protect your back. Look forward and then lift up. Straighten your spine. Step your right foot in. Bring your knees together, lean back, lift your feet up, and then set them back down. Step your left foot out to the left side. Sit nice and tall. We're gonna take our left arm on the bottom, right arm on the top. You can hold on to your shoulders or you can crisscross whatever feels better to you. Sit nice and tall, inhale here. Exhale. Inhale to come up. Exhale to go down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, inhale to come up. This one, we're gonna let our arms dangle. As you go down, release your hands. You can maybe this time sway. Notice what it feels like, the difference in swaying or staying still. When you're ready to come out of it, hands to your knees. Look forward, lift your head up gently. Step both feet back together. Squeeze your inner thighs and your knees. Lean back, lift your feet off the ground. So bringing engagement to your core muscles. Exhale, step your feet back to the mat or the ground. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, knees to chest. Exhale, bring them down. Up, down, last one, and down, perfect. Walk your feet out in front of you so your knees are straight. Lean back to the back of your chair, get comfy.
Take a second. We're gonna lift your right foot up. As you do that, point your toes. So your toes points forward. Again, engagement into your abdomen and lower. Right leg again, we're gonna do a couple, straightening out the legs and lowering. Feel how much our core is used when we use our legs. Two more. Lower your right foot. Rest. Again, you don't have to do as many on each side. You can do as many as you need. Lift up your left foot, point your toes, lower your toes to a hover, and lift it back up. Nice and slow, smooth. If this hurts your leg or is causing you pain, skip it. One more here. Lower that down. Walk your feet back. Hold on to the chair. Try to bring your elbows behind you. This one's kind of hard. All I want you to do is press your feet into the ground. And see if you can just lift, even if it's like a micro inch, like a tiny, tiny inch. Can you get your butt off the chair by pressing into your feet and set it back down? I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. This is like a bridge pose. So I'm in an angle. Feet are kind of closer to the chair. And then just see if you can lift your butt up. <laughs> Where I feel it is right here in my quads. If you ever want to try this on the ground, it's called bridge pose. Our D potapetum in Sanskrit. Oh, my chair's making a lot of noise. That's not my back. When you've had enough of that, slide back into neutral and rest your back up against the chair. Bring your hands to your lap. And close your eyes. If you'd rather move to the couch, the chair, or bed, or somewhere else, or put your feet up, I encourage you to do so so that you can feel comfortable and relaxed. We'll just finish out with a little bit of breathing. So we're gonna do a count a breath of four, and then exhale. We'll, we'll count to four on the inhale and pause for just a moment, for just like a second. And then you'll exhale for a count of five, and then pause at the end of the exhale. So just take a second to relax. And begin. Inhale for one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Now continue this count in your head. Do about three rounds and then sink into stillness and clear out your mind.
C.G. Chung wrote, what is passion? What are emotions? These are the source of fire. There is a fulfillness of energy. A man who has no fire is nothing. He is ridiculous. He is two dimensional. He must be on fire even if he does not make a fool of him, even if he does make a fool of himself. A flame must burn somewhat, otherwise no light shines. There is no warmth. There is nothing. So for just a moment, think about what brings you fire. What are you passionate about? What lights you up? You're never too young or too old to find your passion. And gently start to rock your head from side to side. Make any movements in your neck that feels good. Stretch out through your arms and legs. Turning your body back to a state of awareness. Bring a big smile to your face and your hands to prayer at your heart. Thank you so much for practicing with us. May your heart be open and may it be filled with your passion. Have a wonderful weekend. Namaste. You want to stay here? You can relax.